Hello and welcome to this Map Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about adding a new host. I'm using Map 4.06 and the um, options available on the screencast are available in Map 4.06 or greater. Okay, so uh, to add a new host, uh, all you have to do is go to the host tab here and Map Pro already comes with the default local host filled in. Point into applications map HD docs. Um, what we're going to do now is add some new hosts. So to add a new host, uh, just press the plus button here and uh, give your name a uh, uh, give your host a name, myhost.dev or myhost, whatever you want. And each host is going to need a document root, um, and uh, we're going to find that right now. I already have some. Uh, directories already made, host one, two, and three. Um, and all you have to do is uh, choose a document root there, and uh, this is username, websites, host one, and that's all you need to create a host. That's a very simple host. I'm going to go create that right now and save my settings, and my servers are going to restart. And I just want to point out that automatically uh, this index.php file is created and uh, a MAMP logo is added in that directory. So if you, without doing anything, create a host, those files are created and you have uh, this um, a default uh, page, index.php page come up. So there's something at least there. Okay, so the second way uh, you can make a host is, um, or a second option you have for making hosts is to add a few more uh, elements to uh, be up and running faster. So uh, I'm gonna make a second host here. Uh, I'm gonna call it my template host and pick out a directory here. Host two is gonna be the directory document root. And I'm going to skip over uh, database name. I will do that in the uh, next example, but I'm going to go right down here to copy the content of a template folder to the document root. Okay, uh, you just have to check this checkbox. And basically what this is, is a template. And I have a templates folder here. And this is my bootstrap template. And inside of my bootstrap template, I've got a couple directories, CSS files here. Um, some uh, bootstrap um, files that I downloaded and, uh, and uh, some J uh, jQuery that I downloaded. So I'm going to choose that as my template. And now I can create my uh, template host right now in the uh, hosts to directory. I'm going to create that, save my changes, and uh, restart the servers. And if I go to my page, my template host, I have a uh, bootstrap example uh, that I used uh, in, the, uh, in the template. So it's, this is a great way to just get things up and running. If you know what you want, you can make several templates uh, and you want to uh, quickly get up and running. You have an outline here for your site. Um, I just want to go over um, where I got this or what files. So th this was basically what happened was my host two was uh, took this template here, my bootstrap template, took the CSS directory, fonts directory, and JS directory, copied it into the document root. Also, this index.html file was copied into the document root. Could be an index.php file or whatever. It's just a template. So it's just a quick way of copying some uh, uh, some files into a host and to get up and running fast. Okay, so a third option for adding a host is um, automatically adding a host with a database already created, uh, which you can use to uh, use a content management system. So I'm going to make, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a WordPress uh, host and uh, point this to the host host three directory and what I'm going to do here is create a database named uh, my WP so automatically uh, a database will be made 
created in your, an empty database will be created in your uh, MySQL database. And then I'm going to copy the elements of a template folder over uh, and this template, in this case, is just uh, the basic download of WordPress. If you see here, this is just uh, unzipped uh, um, WordPress directory uh, that I downloaded from uh, WordPress.org. Uh, this happens to be 4.6.1. So now all my uh, files are already going to be there, and all I have to do, my database is there, and all I have to do is go through the uh, WordPress installation process without having to create a database or anything like that. So I'm going to create that host and save it. And I'm not going to go through the uh, WordPress installation. We have um, other uh, screencasts for that, but I do want to point out my host three now has all of this, uh, all the um, WordPress files and a database that's already made. So if I do go here, uh, I should see the WordPress installation screen. And if I, well, I guess I'm gonna go through this right now. I guess I can just go through the uh, WordPress installation. It takes not too long. Let's see here. Uh, root root, localhost, WP, we'll go with that and run the install. So very simple to set up uh, a WordPress host. I didn't have to go into PHP admin and set up um, a database separately. So that's going to save you a little time if you want to quickly uh, uh, get a WordPress site up and running. So it looks like everything went good here and I have my WordPress site up and running. And that's going to do it for installing a host in MAMP Pro 4.